Hey guys, Trent here from How To Haven, back again with another quick tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can fix the problem of Xbox telling you that you don't have enough space to make a capture, even though you do. Um, and obviously first I would recommend to make sure you actually do have enough space by checking your storage. But we're not going to go into that, and I'm going to offer you two possible solutions. And the first is to open up your Xbox guide and scroll all the way to Profile and Set the System. Go to settings, find um, sorry, find uh, preferences. Go to capture and share. See this option allow game captures. Go and dis uh, turn that to don't capture. Um, go back, quit the settings app, um, and then we're actually going to do a power cycle. And to do that, you basically hold your power button down for ten seconds until it completely turns off. Um, my Xbox is behind this monitor, so I'm going to go and do that now. Um, and while I'm doing that, I just want to ask if this video does help you today, please consider leaving a super thanks or just engaging in the video in any way as it really does help me out. Um, but after 10 seconds, you should hear your console turn off and you have now done a power cycle. Wait about 15 to 30 seconds before you turn it back on. And, um, oh, it's my OBS. That looks pretty funny. Yeah. But I'm basically gonna go and turn it back on now. I've waited long enough. I suggest waiting a full minute if you can, but it's probably not completely necessary. Um, but yeah, so once you turn your Xbox back on, we're gonna wait for the screen to come back. I'm gonna switch to my other HDMI. And okay, we've made it back to the screen. And what you're gonna do now is turn your controller back on and we conveniently have, conveniently have the settings option right here, so we're gonna click that again, go back to the same place, preferences, capture and share, and change this back to captures by me or captures by me or games, whichever you prefer. And um, now go and give that a try and see if it's fixed your problem. If that doesn't fix your problem, what we're gonna need to do is try a full um, factory reset of our console, which is a pain, but if this is a problem that's really bothering you, this is what you're gonna have to do. Uh, and it's pretty simple to do. You're gonna go to the same place, settings, go over to system, console info, and then hit reset console. I'm not gonna do it, but from there on out, just confirm that you wanna reset your console. It takes maybe 10 minutes, and then give it a try again. Anyways, guys, if this video helped, you know what to do. Peace.